ride on the side where he's at, right here, where these jaws at, we used to hold these jaws and hold this like this and ride. When we ain't had no tokens, bro, we used to do that shit like that's how that's how important this is. We used to get off this and be rumbling. We used to catch this. 36 was everything for us. That's why when Reed said the 36 trolley, it, it was a staple, you know what I'm saying? To Southwest, these trolleys mean a lot, you know what I mean? This is us. Everything really started right here. Everything started right here for me. Everything. Everything. Everything like I am right now started right here on 62nd at Elmwood, bro. I mean, so much shit. So, you hear me? Like yeah. this. Yeah, you just this is my house. This, this it right here. This it. This what I threw up right here. Right here, bro. Right here, bro. Right here. I used to be right here every day. You hear me? I used to be posted right here every day. The G stop right there. 36 right here. Samba's Pizza always got the pizza slices. Everybody coming. So the middle school, the high school, the other high schools, they had to come here, you feel me? So back then when it was the rap era, the ciphers you right here, right here used to be so intense, bro. Like this was like, when that shit started, this was it, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like this right here, bro, like made me, bro. I battled so many niggas out here, bro. Just rumble everybody, we all done rumbled each other, done went through things like, this 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 means something out here now more than ever because when when I was buzzing then I was really a kid, bro. We don't like to acknowledge these things, you know what I'm saying? I was a fucking kid, so I ain't know how to I ain't really know how to rep my hood. I ain't know how to really rep Southwest. I was a, a 17, 18 year old nigga who popped up on headshot and went crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, like, oh shit, everybody knowing me, everybody noticing. These things became, like, intense real fast. Me being from Southwest and getting with young Bob, who was North, I wasn't going to North before that like that. I wasn't in North Philly or Uptown, like, crazy, you know what I'm saying? When I got with Bob and them, I got to really see North Philly. I got to understand North Philly. I got to... I got to get it. I got no Philly. Like in 2004, 2005, bro, that shit made me understand North Philly because all I cared about was Southwest, South Philly, West Philly. This was all next door neighbors. We was, you know what I mean, gliding past, you feel me? But North Philly, I, I never really ventured too much in North before the Young Bob shit, you know what I'm saying? I never chilled out there on blocks with niggas, you know what I mean, like that until Young Bob. When I got to do that and I got to, Hang with Vito. Me and Vito was hanging together every fucking day. Anybody who from Blumberg know that, bro. Me and Vito, bro, we was together like every day, bro. When I got with his shot, we just clicked. Two different types of motherfuckers just naturally just clicked. At Vito House on the corner in the Blum. Out there, shout out to all them niggas out the Blum. All them niggas who die, all them niggas who gone, all them niggas who still out there. Blumberg still special to me because I was just out there and I'm still out there and I be out there and I got some super important dope motherfuckers who from out there, but... I got to see the love from North Philly, Diamond Street, Burke Street, Susquehanna, Norris, motherfucking Lehigh, Allegheny, Erie Ave. Like, I, bro, I never experienced nothing like that. I was so caged in right here that when I finally buzzed like that, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? Five blocks down, Bartram, Bartram High School. Um, that's where it all, that's where it really started for me. You know what I'm saying? I like to take y'all on the walk, you know what I mean? Just like my videos, everything is just normal, everything is natural, it's nothing rehearsed, you know what I'm saying? I met Bob and them, well I knew a couple people, I knew Jonesy, I knew Magic, I knew a couple of the rappers, the NHs and all that, but I'm talking about Headshot. I knew a few, a few of the rappers, so young Bob was doing a 30 school tour in 30 days. I'm like, what the fuck is that, you know what I'm saying? So smart, young Bob and Bam say no more. They, they some of the smartest, mental, mentally smartest motherfuckers I ever knew. Um, Bob was doing a, a tour after schools. He he pulling up, Meek Mill, Joey Jad, 
D Jones, Vito, that nigga Lil, Young Poo, um, motherfucking Magic, Still, uh, Itcho, he pulling up at high schools at the end, at the let out. <laughs> motherfucking school's going crazy, they ciphering, causing all this attention, all this commotion, you know what I'm saying? When, when I got the call, somebody called me, they said, yo, Young Bob, the boy who came, this headshot one just came out. I mean, headshot one hit like, hit like motherfucking, that shit hit like. What's up? Hey, Good. That, you turned the camera on who that was? Yeah. That, that, I was booked on him. That, that's Aaron Jones' son. You understand? You know what I'm saying? That right there, I'm on my block. That's Aaron Jones' son. You feel me? He fresh home, just did some heavy time. And he said he want to be a, a part of whatever I'm, automatically. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's shit that's unrecorded. This what I'm saying. I mean, un, 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 you, you can't, we can't write shit like that, bro. This just happened. This is why I told you take a walk with me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the story. I get a call. They said, um, yeah, the boy um, who did um, Headshot 1, the boy Young Bob, that's when that Headshot Pussy, that shit was, that shit was everything, you feel me? That Headshot Pussy, that shit was everything. So, you know, I'm right there. They said, damn, they had Bartram. I said, they had Bartram? I said, oh, no, I'm down there. I jump up. Yo, bro, I re this stuff, man, because I don't do interviews. I really don't, man. This stuff that I, back then I didn't, you know what I'm saying? This is my first interview since I've been home and since everything been going on with me. So this this is important that I get to, you know what I mean, tell some of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I remember I'm getting dressed, man. Heart racing. I mean, I walked out. I remember I went to the door, the, 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 the um, the, uh, I left my keys. I was all this shit running through my head. I went, I think I jumped on, it was either a mongoose, this all reality. It was either like a mongoose or like some type of mountain bike. I jump on the bike. I haul ass. I get close. I throw the bike in the cut, you feel what I'm saying? So I see all I see is like, you know what I'm saying? Them. Huh? Meek man, so so tall, so so cocky, so arrogant, so serious. You know what I'm saying? Hattie, so 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 smooth with it, but so bouncy, so shit shit'll make you nervous. You feel what I'm saying? Back then, this is what we talking about back then. Magic. I mean, it's the way this ball can control a crowd, bro. I mean, I'm sorry. The way magic could, could this shit was intimidating, man. I ain't no shit here, shot one was out. They was comfortable already. And I'm from Southwest. All them niggas from down there. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I remember everybody go crazy. Crack jeans up here. This is my crack jeans. I was only buzzing in Southwest. Go in, boom. Bam, say no more, bro. The day I met Bam, say no more, bro. That boy is one of the most loyalist people walking these Philly streets, man. Bam, say no more, do whatever. Bam, fought for me. Bam, wanted me in the beginning. Bam, you know what I'm saying? Bam, he was, you know what I mean? But, boom, go crazy, boom. I knew Jonesy already, you know what I mean? So the love was there, boom. Now, um, Jonesy, D. Jones and Magic pushing for me to come to the next school. You feel what I'm saying? So, we go to the next school, whatever, whatever, I bomb it, boom, boom, boom. Now, now, we in South Philly. This, 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 this the video that y'all see me behind Meek and with the hair shot shirt on and Meek right What's, What's up, up bro? Oh, man, it's been so long, man. <laughs> it's been so long. Yo, how I, you, I, man? I'm good, yes, sir. Hold it down. But that's why I say walk with me so you can see this. I ain't, I ain't really walk around down here in so long. I was just booked for, you know what I mean, four and a half, five years. Um, you know what I'm saying? And before that, it was a lot going on. So walking through here right now is so special to me, man. Like, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> bam, we in South Philly. 
that's the joint you see me caddy me magic jonesy Pooh, lil uh everybody jeezy from dcr everybody O'Melly. um it was so crazy down there i don't know if we was on 18th street or 20th but i know for sure we was on snyder i know that much that's the last sign i seen you know what i'm saying so k dot showstopper my brother you know what i'm saying k dot out there snapping at every snapping at every joint um for some some reason that day it was like it's either you or k dot that's getting with headshot my aim wasn't to get with headshot my aim was to get on headshot you feel me so me and K-Dot in South Philly. Mind you, K-Dot from South Philly. That's where he from. And they like hyping up a battle between me and K-Dot. And this is what y'all don't know. This stuff that y'all don't know. So they hyping it up. And they like, well, you and K-Dot going to have to go at each other. And I'm like, damn. In, in my mind. Yo, welcome home, K-Dot. In my mind, I'm like. We in South Philly. In my mind, the only thing I could think about was we in South Philly. K dot and them deep as shit. I'm down there with like probably two, three of my niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, and K dot hot, K dot flaming. I'm flaming at this time. I'm working for it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm really working for it, bro, because I, I started to want it. You know what I'm saying? So, K dot like going crazy. He just he had like he wanted it. K dot under the like, well if G's were well, ghosts, whatever. Like you know what I'm saying? And I see the look at him. I'm like, well, all right, what's well, whatever then? You know what I'm saying? And the rest of that story I ain't gonna tell. But that's that's that that's that situation. Not only made me. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? Bro, how you? How you, bro? Mm -hmm. So that that situation not only made me, but it made me and K Dot like this. You know what I'm saying? And that shit elevated and sparked something. You know what I mean? So um, I'm glad K Dot home too. You know what I mean? But ultimately, I get with headshot. Um. Now, I'm so around Southwest, I'm so around my hood that now everybody knowing, you know what I'm saying? And now, now the love coming, you know what I mean? Now I'm bringing people down here. Now I'm bringing Jonesy, I'm bringing Magic, I'm bringing Hattie, Frank with the Grippers down here, Reed down there, motherfucking Rain Man down there, Eddie Morris right there. We all right here, Bugsy right there, you know what I'm saying? Right across, you know what I'm saying, Willen Ave. Ness right up the street, you know what I'm saying? But around this time, they was looking at me, you know what I'm saying? They was looking at Reed, they was looking at Bugsy, they was looking, they, these people always gonna be staples in Southwest, you know what I'm saying? No matter what anybody is gonna ever say, Greg G's, Bugsy, Reed Dollars, Enes, Eddie Morris, Philly's Most Wanted. You, when you talk about Southwest, you gotta say us. I ain't talking about the Wises and the Rico Havocs, the new era. I'm, I'm not even talking about them who doing their thing. But you gotta remember us. If you don't like me, you still gotta remember. You feel what I'm saying, bro? But when that shit happened, bro, I was so excited about the fucking, the wrong shit. But I ain't know it. You know what I'm saying? I was a fucking young boy, bro. But anyway, when 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 everything was happening, I swore I knew it. You know, I swore I knew it all, bro. I ain't no shit. I swore I, I said, damn, I'm going I'm to know how to handle it. I'm going to know how to do it. When that shit was hitting, so much of the attention was on me that I forgot. I forgot about all this, everybody around here, I forgot. They noticed it, but I ain't notice it. That's where some of the fucked up things started happening. 
I'm grown enough to know now my flaws and my faults, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to sit down, I got to be in jail, I got to, I got to understand and get it. I got to really think, bro, I got to really think in jail, you know what I'm saying? Jail really saved my life, you feel me? So, when I got to really sit and think, bro, I thought, damn, them motherfuckers, they wasn't wrong. I, I forgot. <laughs> they remember me. I kept, I, like I said, I got so caught up in the love from the other places that I forgot where the fuck I was at. I forgot. I forgot about Southwest. Listen, you ain't never straight, man. I didn't know that. I didn't. I ain't see it. Um, when I got with headshot, everything started happening so fast. Like I said, I didn't know that. I was doing some of the wrong things. I wasn't holding my block down a lot. I wasn't with my niggas as much as I should have been. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't bringing them with me when I should have been. You know what I mean? But I didn't know that. Because I'm a young boy getting used to this it's this new attention. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, when it had been, I, I wasn't, I ain't even realized that in the mix of that happening, me getting with Young Bob and me being excited and me, you know, going through these changes and, you know what I mean? I didn't even fucking see that Touch Money and, um, Touch Money and, and, and Reed Dollars and, um, Kaboom and Frankie and Eddie and, and Marley and Stunt Woods and, 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 and NH and Caution and Bricks and these my friends. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that it's a whole fucking war about to start. I'm just excited I'm with headshot. It's a it's a war about to start, you feel me? But I wasn't in